Hey guys, welcome back to episode 4 of Chameleon Craft Season 2. I'm currently standing in the new spawn area that I, uh, I laid out, and wow, the new guys and pretty much the people on the server have been busy. Look at how cool this place looks now. I laid out a path um, a couple of days ago on here, I haven't quite finished it yet, but um, I think this was Dan who did this. Um, there you go, Dan, he's set up a little enchantment table. So that's two of his diamonds he's given to the community. It's insane. A new sugarcane farm, which is really cool, and a bigger wheat farm because food was really an issue on the server. Um, everyone was starving, especially me and Andrew when we first came on. In those first three episodes, we were we were starving like crazy. We needed that nosh, but this is really cool now. Um, I've also got a little base set up now, kind of like a semi kind of home-ish. Um, and okay, hang on a second. I've just got to talk to this dude. Sorry about that little cut there. Um, I just can't talk and type at the same time. But um, yeah, I've got kind of a semi base set up. It's a bit like how we um, had it in the first series. I've just got a big podium kind of marking my territory. Um, I wouldn't say oh, territory, is that the right word to use? I'm not a dog and I'm not paying on it, my area. And I've got some chests and stuff down below. Um, looks like. Whoa, that's a bit lag there. Looks like he's planning to extend this maybe. I don't know. These water points? I don't know. Maybe they're just holes. Um, but yeah, we've also got a nether now. I haven't actually fully explored that yet. I'll go in and have a little peek peek about um, to show you what it's like. Um, here we are. Oh, yeah, Mr. Big Man. And this nether is so cool. Lots of open space. So making a nether hub will be really fun. Because last time we were at the very bottom, we were at bedrock level. You know, and so it's all kind of um, really confined. We have to really dig our way out. But this is absolutely huge and insane. So... This is great, and there's quartz everywhere in glowstone. I think people have started to raid stuff, because I don't see any ground quartz. And there's some stuff down there. I will have to come in here. Maybe next episode we'll do that. And, uh... Here, yeah, Mr. Big Man, you're in a hole. Oh, there's also a nether fortress. Andrew has told me there's one around here somewhere, and I have no idea where it is. So, they he's probably raided that, and so is um, most people, I think. I think, um... Luke has raided it as well. Like, so on the server, he, kept, he died a few times in the nether. Um, but that means we can make a blaze farm... And they're really cool for XP, so that's going to be awesome. Uh, what I plan to do today is go over to my base and show you around and show you the kind of plan I want to do with it. And was that all the sugar cane? I swear I got more than that. Hmm. And uh, but pretty much set up a little farm because, you know, it's okay having a farm at spawn, but it means having to come back. You know, which means wasting hunger, then going back, which means wasting even more hunger. Um, so it'll be way more efficient over there, and that means we can kind of building stuff, we can start setting up a mine and actually go mining for materials. Another thing, I helped set up this tree farm over here, which is for the new guys on the server to stop people destroying all the nice lovely scenery around, because I get a bit um, emotionally attached to uh, scenery. Uh, so yeah, pretty much come in here, cut the trees down, you know, get some saplings out here, replant. And it works really well actually, it's not like automated, you know, like the big redstone ones. I may build one of those, I have done before, and they're pretty cool. Um, so I'm just going to go over to my base now, actually collect a bit more food first, and then I'll show you uh, my new base and give you a little tour on my ideas of what I'm going to do. So here we are, this is the base. I've made a pillar as usual to kind of mark my my area. Um, I've already got a little farm set up, not doing very good as you can see. Not having the best season for harvesting. Um, I don't know why I said that, but we've got a little skelly over here, let's uh, take care of him. Is he... Why doesn't he care? Sir? Oh, yes, yeah, you do go. Yep, go. Where's she go? Where have you gone? There you go. There, she, there he is. She? Might be a she. Okay, let's light up this area because this seems to be a big problem. Having overhangs in areas like this is really bad because mobs can spawn everywhere. So let's just light this area up. Light it up, up, up. Light it up, up, up. No. Um, here we are. This is it. And my idea for the base is I said it in the first episode. Um, but I'm going to say it again with, so, so we can actually kind of have a visual guide. I'm going to have a hole, kind of like a circular hole. Maybe with just like a little square entrance you fall into. And there's chests all around. Surrounded by double chests, you know, really high up. And I'm going to have um, farms all over the base with um, pretty much um, like all the items flowing into my base. So it's pretty much like an automatic base. It's always constantly going to get topped up um, with items. We're never going to run out of items. It's all going to be automatic. 
And most farms um, in Minecraft now you can make automatic, so you can have. Where the hell's that iron? Oh, yeah, coal. Yeah, most farms are automatic, um, and that's really cool. But most mob farms aren't automatic. I think some cow farms are. Um, but I'm going to look up loads of tutorials and maybe make some tutorials if I can't find any myself on how to make, um... Oh man, sorry about that guys. <laughs> I, I tried talking and chatting at the same time. I've really lost this YouTube thing. I used to be able to multitask like crazy, but now I'm just really rusty. So hopefully getting, doing all these videos will uh, get me back in the game a bit. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, loads of farms feeding in and I'm going to look up loads of tutorials on automatic farms. I know quite a few already. Um, kind of like wheat farms and things like that. They're pretty simple. How do I get up onto this top area? Here we go. Uh, melon farms. I've got a really cool design um, by a YouTuber called Exuma. You may know him. He's uh, on Hermitcraft. Um, wheat farms. Problem with wheat farms are you have to replant after they've grown, which kind of sucks. Um, but that's fine. I, I can live with the pain of that. Um, and this is the up area. The up area, the higher area, where I want to build all the farms. Um, a couple of people were a bit confused about where they wanted to build. I think one guy was. They said they wanted to build up here, but they didn't realise my base was here. So that's why the tower is so huge and phallic. Um, okay, let's try and ninja skills this guy. Oh, that didn't work. Oh, no. Can I, can I, can I do it again? Dorkin! Bye, dude. Oh. But this area at the top here is actually really, really, really cool. Because it's mostly flat area, as you can see up here, and the t well, over there is a bit, you know, a bit odd. But there's lots of overhangs of things, which means I can fire items. I'm just getting, I'm just getting really excited about this, and I'm hoping as well that I could get a few of these cheeky, um, ooh, ooh, cheeky slime launchers in. Um, and there's weird floating snow there. So yeah, for example, I'd have like a melon farm on top of this bit, and then every come five minutes it would harvest, and the items would fall down, like literally fall from the melon farm down into a hopper. Then you'd see them getting transported along. So it'd be like a weird, mad laboratory, laboratory with pipes everywhere and stuff. So yeah, that's pretty much my plan. And now on to uh, some farming, I think. Hey guys, what's up? You guys just kind of chilling? How are you doing? I'm talking. Just found a new bug in the snapshot. If you put polished andesite in this formation in the crafting table, it'll give you stone slabs, which is quite interesting. Uh, but here's the farm. Literally haven't done much. I've just planted the seeds down in a certain order. Um, so what I've got is um, what are these carrot, no, wheat and carrots of here. Uh, I think that'll do me for a while. And these are all pumpkins as well, because I found pumpkins. Um, so that's pretty much just done for the episode. It was mostly just chatty and kind of talking, which I like doing. I don't know if you guys like that. I got a comment on one of my videos saying that they liked the um, the story time with Andrew episode, which was just literally Andrew talking about his adventures into Chichester and his amazing adventures with uh, a laptop. Um, so if you guys like chatty episodes, tell me, and I will chat to my heart's content because I can ramble for ages and ages and ages. And actually, I've got a question. These bunnies... How do you keep them? Do you put a name tag on them? Do you like... Is there a way of taming them? Oh, carrots! Let's try carrots! Just got some bone meal. Let's, which one's carrots? These one's carrots. Come on, they've got... That's what they do, don't they? That's logical. Let's see if I can tame this guy. Carrots. Carrots? Do you like carrots? Oh! You put love heart. Love heart. Does that mean he likes me? Nobody likes me. Or does that mean that's they're gonna breed with someone? Guys, hi. Are you now gonna follow me everywhere? Is that it? Dude? Hello? Why are you why are you scared of me? Stop come back. No. So you can't sit, is that it? Or no. Well he, ow. He keeps headbutting me. These these guys are pretty pointless. Stop headbutting me. D dude. Is he following me now, does that mean? Now, now he's just kind of humping a dirt block. God, they're creepy, aren't they? Look at that. Hey, dude. Hey, man. Oh, okay. I think before I, you know, harass a rabbit anymore, I think this is a um, good point. Good point to stop. Thank you very much for watching this rambly episode of uh, Chameleon Craft, and I will see you in the next episode. <laughs>
Thank you.